Welcome to the show. We've got a great, great show today. This is going to be the first ever installment of subscriber builds. We have some great examples today sent by a couple of different viewers, and uh, I think I'll just jump right into it. I will say, though, that if you want to have your knives or other builds featured on this channel, you can send pictures and maybe a short explanation to Fargo FX, that's F A R G O F X, at zoho.com. And that's an email I set up just for this purpose. So if you send me an email there, I will get it and I will know that it's for these subscriber build segments. I'll also have that link in the description below. And if you send pictures to be featured on the show, I will absolutely shout out your channel and I will also leave links to your channel. So anytime I do one of these videos, you can always check the in the video description. There will be links to the channels whose builds were featured in these videos. And with that, we'll get right to it. First off, we have some beautiful leatherwork and metalwork, as well as a very well-made knife with, uh, with an antler handle. This came to us from John Caps, and he wrote a little bit about it. And just listen to this. What a great story. John says, I put the knife together several years ago. My 13-year-old found it and asked to have it, so I had him help me make the sheath and the belt. The knife blade is from an old crosscut saw. The handle is elk antler I found at a flea market and the belt buckle was made by my grandfather and myself 20 years ago. I braided the stainless rods together while he heated them with a torch. My grandfather was quite the craftsman. That is a really cool story, and I have to agree completely. The craftsmanship here is incredible, and I would say it runs in the family, because you and your 13-year-old have produced some incredible work here as well. So I want to say thank you very much to John Caps for sharing these pictures with us, and also for sharing this amazing story. And I will add that you, if you haven't seen John's channel, you should definitely go and check it out. And I'll have that link here. And as I mentioned, it'll be in the description below. So next we go to Bodhi, who's from Georgia. He's 17 years old, and he says he's been blacksmithing and bladesmithing for less than six months. So although he's a lot younger than me, we do have that one thing in common. We've both been at this for about half a year. Now, with that said, the level of craftsmanship that he is producing is really superb. I mean, when you look at these pictures... This is very excellent work, and in many ways, I feel kind of challenged by this to do better work myself, because if this is the kind of craftsmanship that he can turn out after just about a half a year of work, I definitely need to step up my game. I absolutely love the attention to detail, you know, with twists and the tang of the knife. Bodhi clearly has a great eye for design. I would think that a knife maker of many years would be very proud to be exhibiting this level of craftsmanship. And he mentioned in his email he does have a channel. So far he only has two videos up there, but he's going to be doing more. And one of the videos actually features the making of this railroad spike knife. So I would say definitely check that out. I've looked at his videos and uh, I hope you run over there and uh, tell him to make some more because I think he's doing really great work. This last image here is really cool. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is Mokume Gane, sometimes just referred to as Mokume. It's essentially a kind of pattern welding, it's kind of like Damascus, but the materials used will often be like copper or silver or nickel or, you know, things other than steel. And I guess I could be mistaken, it might just be the lighting of this picture. This might actually be a type of Damascus, but I'm pretty sure it's Mokume. And I'm not sure the method he used to make it, but I know I've seen a couple of other videos where they've stacked quarters, because American quarters are made of copper and, I think, nickel. And so when you stack them and then forge weld them, then you hammer them out. You can get some really cool patterns out of that, and I think that's what this is. So, Bodhi, maybe you want to comment on that below and, and just uh, tell us a little bit more about this. I think that'd be cool. Um, or if there's anything else that you want to say, I would invite both you guys to uh, comment below. But otherwise, I just want to say thank you for sharing this with us, and thanks to all you viewers for watching. I hope you enjoyed this show, and I know this is just a sample of the great, great work that's being done out there. So if you have something you want to share, send it to that email address, FargoFX at zoho.com. Thank you for joining us. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next video.